FanDuel fam, it's Ryan Williams here yet again on the FanDuel Hurry Up this week. We're talking week six DFS value plays when it comes to the Sunday main slate. We got to start it off with quarterback Geno Smith. He comes in at 7,400. This is way too cheap for a guy who's playing in probably the second best matchup on the slate here going against Arizona. Arizona has been giving up points to the quarterback position. We absolutely love what Geno Smith offers as far as upside goes. This guy is the, he's the leader in QBR of all quarterbacks that have played in five games through this season. He's got a 75% completion rate. The renaissance is absolutely there. He's best in the league on fan fantasy points generated on 15 yards or more down the field. What's not to like Geno Smith in this matchup? Let's talk about the running back position. Devin Singletary, he comes in at 5,700. If you can believe this, he's the 32nd highest price running back on the slate and he let people down, but we should have seen that coming because of the Buffalo Bills being 14 point favorites against the Steelers in it in favorite games they haven't needed Devin Singletary his numbers have not looked great but in close games when you're looking at the Miami and Baltimore game Devin Singletary has been absolutely utilized love that he's been utilized in the passing game and that's where Kansas City has been giving up most of their production to opposing running backs when you're looking at them allowing the most targets receptions and yards receiving to the running back position six most six most fan duel points we got to fire up Devin Singletary in this close matchup he offers nice leverage off of the passing options that Josh Allen has last but not least we'll talk about Zach Ertz going against the Seattle matchup and I mean it's just tight ends against Seattle all, all day when we're looking at Taysom Hill take out Taysom Hill TJ Hawkinson was gashing this team I mean they allowed a touchdown to Ross Dwelly for Pete's sake um they they have been absolutely gashed by tight ends he Zach Ertz actually had some success against this team last year with the two touchdown score game this is probably one of the last times we can get Zach Ertz as DeAndre Hopkins will come back from suspension so I like Zach Ertz being the second most targeted weapon for Kyler Murray outside of Marquise Brown Guys, that's going to do it for the week six DFS value plays. Follow me on Twitter at RyanAlexander underscore W. I'll catch you guys next time. Until then, peace.